three teams. Two games to go. Well, not with our three, but you know. All on 28 points. Only one can survive. Hold on, aren't you literally doing a series on Villa? Why aren't you talking about them? Well, this seems more interesting to be honest. We're fifth, mate. Yeah, but we've got Man United and Arsenal, so we're probably not going to win them. We're not going to end up fifth, are we? Like... Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Alright, lads, and welcome to another episode of the Villa Thriller. It is the last episode of the 17-18 season. We could qualify for the Europa League, but we also could finish mid-table. And it all comes down to these last two fixtures, which are against top of the table United and Arsenal, who are the current holders. So it's probably going to be the mid-table finish. Right, I'm actually going to try my original tactic out against Manchester United. I'm not going to play this big boys tactic. The lineup has stayed pretty much the same. Mackay in goal. Benzar at right back, Daniel Ayala and Rob Holding as a central defensive partnership, Jordan Marvi at left back, Hanno Behrens in defensive midfielder, the two central midfielders Kerem and Vasson Marchetti, Thomas Eisfeld as the advanced playmaker attack, and the two complete forwards are Super Hooper and Hoagie. Let's bloody play the game and try not to get smashed. But we will, won't we? Yeah. And we kick off. Us in the claret and blue. Keep saying that. It's not changing, is it? Unless we play West Ham or someone. And them in the blue. Highlight here, the hair lumps it up. Holding heads it down. Mata is in possession. Cuts inside. To Nangolan. Nangolan probably has a dig, but it's wide. I wasn't even scared. Kerem with a free kick. Oh, what a goal. That is the reason I bought him. Well, quarter of the reason. His set pieces. Only takes that to go ahead against Manchester United. Just that. Lovely. Thank you, Karen. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to contain just before half time, get to the break, winning. So we've, we, we've come over a barrier then. If we go into half time and we're winning, that is a barrier. Oh shit. Marshall to Mata. Probably swings it in. Yeah, Marshall's there and it's a goal. Just before half time. So the plan just got mugged off 100%. Jesus Christ. I, I think we can win, to be honest. Going into half time at 1 all, they haven't threatened that much. We haven't really threatened that much, but even Stevens, anything can happen. And if we have the belief, I think we can, we can nick one. So we restart for the second half. Right guys, it's time. Hashtag dirty sub. Slow it down. Let's take it, just take it. And we've done it. Massive that. We are a force to be reckoned with. Oh. Well, United won the title. Less of an achievement now, because they didn't even need to win. Anyway, on to Arsenal. Ooh, it's the last game of the season. Anyway, here is the starting lineup. Alessandro Mackay keeps his place because he's he's been pretty decent. Only let one in against United. So there you go, mate. There's another start for you. Right back, Romario Benzar. The two central defenders, James Chester and Daniel Ayala. Neil Taylor at left back. This very well could be his last game at Aston Villa. Hopefully he puts in a performance. Defensive midfield, Hanno Behrens. Two central midfielders, Vincent Marchetti and Kerem. Kerem? Kerem. Advanced playmaker, Thomas Eisfeld. And the two complete forwards, Super Hooper and Hoagie. Let's play the bloody game then. Yeah, I am, I am interested in how it's going to unfold with these three teams here. Because whoever goes down, we can just pluck some players from them. I'm hoping it's Everton, because they've got some alright players. Very pluckable players. Lacazette. I'm getting flashbacks already. Bastard. So we kick off against Arsenal. They're in this nice little black and yellow. Why don't we wear our second kit if they're, they're at home? Some things I don't understand. 
Anyway, it's a highlight. Hoagie. It's a Caro. It's a Super Hooper. Can he finish it? So very close. I was hearing the build-up of ABBA then. But no, didn't get to hear the full clip, unfortunately. Anyway, corner, Karim swings it in. Soup Hooper, oh shit. Ramsey is away on the counter-attack. Wilshire driving at the two defenders. To Iwobi, out to Ramsey. Overlapping everywhere, back to Iwobi, and he slots it home. And we go down to sixth. Wilshire swings it in, Iwobi, Bellerin scores. We're getting trounced. So far, Bournemouth and West Brom are currently going down. Everton are beating Palace 1-0. Bournemouth beating Stoke 1-0. I'm not even watching my own game. Please don't be another goal for them. Chamberlain. Ramsey, Chamberlain. Wilshire, Chamberlain again. Look at them. One touch passing. It's a joke to them. Awobi. Oh, he's not that good, is he? Bullshit. What a way to end the season. We go into half-time. Depressed. Oh, Neil, Neil Taylor's having a good game, isn't he? Good last game. You've been fucking shit. Get out there and sort it out, you dickheads. Look at me, I'm already planning transfers. We start for the second half, but I'm planning transfers. Who can we poach from Bournemouth or West Brom? I don't know, to be honest, maybe maybe Callum Wilson. He'll be alright. I want to take Neil Taylor off, but I can't. Amarvi's suspended. He's having a fucking shocker. There's no point in him even being on the pitch. Mackay to Taylor. Probably fucks it up in some way. To Eisfeld, Hoagie. He fucks it up. Walcott has it. Eisfeld. Redeems himself with a nice tackle. Behrens to Marchetti. Chester. Ayala. Kerem. Out to Taylor. To Kerem. Into Hoagie. Into Big Hodge. Saved by Chesney. Gazzola with a free kick. Wilshire. Don't have anything to say. I mean, questionable marking. Why was he just stood there? There's two men stood there. Either one of them could have scored. And the the, the guys are just there like, who's, who's picking him up? No one, apparently. Oh, and another one. Oh, Hoagie. It's a big codge. Marchetti. Kerem. Eisfeld. Scores. Merely a consolation. And there we have it. Trounced. So there we have it. First season in the Premier League. Sixth place. Nice. Man United as the champions. Top four, Chelsea, Arsenal and Tottenham. Man City and Liverpool getting beaten by yours truly. Fuck off. Everton secure safety in the last game. The relegated teams are West Brom, Bournemouth and Burnley. And there we have it. The end of the bloody season. Much preparation to do for next season. Because I want to be getting into those Champions League spots. Yeah, but that's easier said than done. Anyway, I'll see you next season with a with a transfer special. I've already bought one guy. You haven't seen him yet though. He's pretty good. 18 years old. I think he can, he can be a, a top quality player one day. Win some trophies with Aston Villa. Well, thank you for watching the video. I'm going to teach you how to be a lad now in two simple steps. Step one, like the video. You know, the little thumbs up thing down below. Yeah, do that. And step two, subscribe to the bloody channel, please. And after those two steps are complete, you are now 100% a lad.